Hey, this is Asha, and thanks for joining me today on this little quick video tip. Now today what I'd like to do is share with you a little tool that you can use to journal your stock trades, and it's a, a tool that I've been experimenting with lately. Now if you've used one of the other things that I've mentioned in the past to journal, whether that's Evernote or even Trello, uh, you can go ahead and see the links to those videos below the description of this video. So take a look at those. Now if you're looking to find a way to journal your trades, this tool what I'm going to share with you is a little more like a spreadsheet. So if you're interested more in spreadsheet type, uh, and more calculations and auto calculations, uh, this tool should help you out because you can rearrange the views more like a Trello view or more like an Excel spreadsheet. So there's a lot of things that you can do. And best of all, it's absolutely free. So let's take a look at the tool. All right, so the tool is called Airtable. And when you go into the Airtable templates, basically what it does is you can use it for a lot of different things. You can set up things like a launch calendar for products, for uh, conference planning, job recruitment, art gallery, and you can rearrange the views. So if we look at an example, uh, what it does is you can see right here, it's kind of like an Excel spreadsheet right there. And you can have months, years, and even attach images, which is not something that's easy to do in the Excel spreadsheets. And if you look at this, as you go through this, there's different even views that you can create. So that's really the power behind it. So you can see here, it's more like a Trello view. Or if you go back, you can have a really uh, just more of an Excel spreadsheet view. And you can do this for a lot of different things. So let's just say we go into kind of a real estate kind of management thing and you're doing real estate management. You could have people like agents, the names, the email addresses, and you can uh, hop into different areas here in the tables. So these things right here, this big item, that this is called a base, and then everything within that right there is called a table, and then everything else within that is really rows or columns. So the power behind this really is what you can do is um, the views and splitting these different views into different segments. And I'm going to show you how you can use this here within uh, stock trading here in just a moment as you get into it, because that's really the power behind it. So first off, uh, if you're interested in signing up, again, this is all absolutely free. Take a look at my referral link. Uh, you can go ahead and click and sign up and uh, get. The, uh, I'll get a referral credit for doing this video. Uh, but really all that does is just gives you um, added credit into your account. So that way you get credit if you go ahead and sign up for a premium plan. So far, everything I'm gonna show you is on the free plan. So here's basically the pricings if you're interested. I've been on the free plan for the last couple of weeks. I've been experimenting with it just to see how the tool works and you get unlimited bases right here. So that's really the key. Now the main difference between the free and the paid plans is that the records right here is you have uh, 1200 records that you could do, meaning the rows that you could put in within your spreadsheet there. Uh, whereas the paid plan, you get up to 5,000 records and also the attachments. So if you're adding in like pictures and that kind of thing, that's really the main difference. And you can see right here, you're going from uh, zero to $10. And if you refer people, then uh, you get credit in your account and you can use that towards a plan. It's not that you really get paid. So what you're actually getting is if you're on the free plan, there's a lot of options and possibilities that you can use in order to really uh, use it as a stock trading uh, tool for journaling. If you haven't journaled before, here's a good start. So what you do is, I'm gonna show you here, you start out with kind of a new table. Actually, let's go into right here, my account, and I'll show you if I go into the bases right here. Uh, you can see I've been using it kind of as a test or demo for my own just overall online business. And you can have tasks to do, project roadmaps, things you're working on, marketing training. We're slowly moving a few things over into this area. Uh, but really, these are called bases. Each one of these is a base. And what you could do is if you create a new one, you can start with a template, import one or start from scratch. If you start with a template, what you could do is go back to this template area. And then let's just say you want a, uh, a blog editorial calendar. You can take a look at what this looks like and then go ahead and use this template and it's gonna add that template in. So there I have kind of my blog editorial calendar. So you can see here's our story, date scheduled, 
uh, status uh, and just many other things that you could go ahead and do and then there's some attachments and here what you could do is flip-flop to things that are in progress you can filter things you can even create a new view by calendar and then you can see okay well where are these things all scheduled and where are those records so that's another great thing you could do things by the gallery right or the Kanban view so it's basically just like the Trello view which is really the power behind it so you can flip-flop the views so you can see then I can go back and go back into my list and flip-flop back and forth so here's how you use it within stock trading so when we go into this and I'll start with a new table right so this is kind of a new uh, new table that I went ahead and started from scratch so right here you'll get kind of a basic list or items let's just start right there create an empty table new I'll move this over here so you can see they give you a name notes and attachments so if I want to go ahead and start uh, changing things around I could go ahead and change this to a ticker if I want to do it based on ticker I could go ahead and create a date right there when I went into a trade and change that to a date go ahead I can move that column over over here so as you start filling things in it could be something like that and I'll fill this in I could say bought shares at a certain price and now you're slowly filling out the table now you could add in more number based things as well so you could see in here they have um, phone number email URL here's number here's currency percentage so if you're doing number and you could do precision of however allow negative numbers and we'll go ahead and do that so this will be shares that you've bought and then you could say 200 or negative 300 if you're short um, you could do it this way and slowly start expanding it so now you're slowly building out some columns and the types of columns you want to do and then you're creating these records now here I've already created kind of something based on the date so if you want to do it date by date by date you could go ahead and start filling this in and you can even create things like a formula so here if you wanted to do calculations just like within Excel you could do price times the number of shares so let's say here I'll go down to formula and the formula is really easy so if I type shares you could see there's a shares uh, item right here insert field or column so I'll go ahead and do shares multiply that times the price so as I type in price you can see price comes up and now I'll go ahead and it auto calculates it I could also format this to more of a currency with two precision and now I'm good to go so you could see as I go ahead and type this in at 100 shares let's say 45 25 dollars a share it'll adjust those kinds of prices if I did 75 shares and then I did 25 65 you can see it automatically does it so let's say this one is um, HOG and this one is GE and then go ahead add another row and here I could go ahead and put in some dates and things like that when you executed the trade I could even make this more precise and do it based on the time so if I wanted to do it based on the time I could go ahead and shift it when I put in the time if I needed it even more precise I could type in that time to that space so anyways you could go ahead and continue to expand this further and further if you don't need a column you can delete a column you can delete a column here if you don't want that and you can continue to make it very very long um, depending on your needs so as you get into further and developing your trading journal take a look let's say here you have some stocks and I went ahead and created a few more things so here's the date I placed the trade for example purposes here's the ticker short and long price shares total cost you can see that's a formula closed price and then my P&L right made money lost money so you could see here what I've done is create a little drop down I could even create a uh, scratch trade option here if say hey this was kind of a break even anything hundred dollars up or down is just kind of a scratch trade uh, let's just mark this one as a scratch trade as well so here what I could do is now start grouping things and that's again the power behind this tool so here pick a field I want to group it let's say made money or lost money 
So I'll go ahead and group it like this, and you can see, boom, there it has some that are made money right at the top, lost money, and my scratch trades. It all grouped it right there. I could sort it again and rearrange it a little bit that's different on this. So let's say made money, lost money. You could resort those things. Um, you can even filter things in anything where you're long or short. Let's see, short or long, anything that's short right there, it'll go ahead and do that. And what you could do is, is save these kinds of views. So you could say, okay, let me create a new view. So this is short where made money. Okay, so now here's my view. I could create that view. So let's group made or lost money. And then what I'll do is filter anything where it's short or long where it's short. Short, made money, and let's add another filter. And made or lost, it's made money. So there we go. So as I hop back, I could go to the regular view, let's say without the filter, and then I can hop back to the short made money. I could create another view. Let's add another view where it's just grouped and now we can do grouped let's say long or short so I just want to see my long and short grouped right there and I can actually even do a double group okay so here what I could do is lost money or made money so here you could see what it's done is I have this big one that's short and now here I've made money and lost money so it's a secondary grouping as you can see so this is really the huge power behind uh, this Airtable um, uh, system. And it's something, again, it's new to me. I'm playing around with it just to see how things go. I think it's very powerful. There's a lot of great things. The downside is on some of the Android and Apple devices for smaller devices, um, they're still expanding the applications, but if you're using it on the computer, it's, it's very powerful. Here's how you use it when it comes to option trading. Oh, by the way, one thing when it, you're doing some grouping, here's also the sums that you could go ahead and see. So you could see it auto calculates it and I can actually go ahead and do average, just quickly hop things around. So you could see the average money lost right there would be there. The average um, for money made also is right there. So you could see how you can really switch some of these fields around uh, very quickly um, and just hop back and forth and you can see the sum is also right there or you could do an average if you want to do kind of an average and you can see 226 is the average you're making on a per trade basis there okay so looking at let's say some options you could do it even more complicated so you could say okay well here's kind of a month to month and you could do drop downs here for the month I've set up some single select items for the, for that you could say the year and let me just see here um, let's do a regular view regular so you could see here I've done dates today's date this is a formula that adds in how many days remaining and whether it's a put or a call so this is days remaining this is the year the percentage of risk put or call so again drop down put call vertical calendar you could do buy or sell um, the VIX if you want to note the VIX on those levels the strike price the S&P at the current price your range away from the current price level the price of that option contracts your profit and loss how many you're buying and some notes so you can see how detailed you can really get and if you want to go ahead and do some grouping then again you could just go ahead and group those things if I change some of these to let's say a call a call a call and now what you can do is if I wanted to do uh, things grouping by calls and puts I could do calls and puts group and I'll go ahead and pick a field to group puts and calls so you could see there's all the puts at the top there's all the calls here at the bottom. So anyways, you can see the powerful uh, way that you can really use this from just basic stocks to 
uh, option trading or even for your own personal lifestyle for to do's um, and many other things. I'm experimenting with it for within my business just to see how things play out. But you can see there's a lot of great power behind it, especially as you get into multiple views. Again, if you're interested in signing up, I don't get any financial compensation, but they credit my account in case in the future I decide to go ahead and upgrade um, my, uh, my Airtable system. And if you're interested in that, just go ahead and go into this referral link right here and then go ahead and sign up and try it out. It doesn't cost you anything and all the features that I've mentioned are absolutely free here. All right, so thanks for joining me in this week's quick tip video. And if you want to go ahead and join me for some free giveaways, news, and live classes, then join me on my newsletter list by clicking the button right up here. Thanks again, and in the end, remember, do what you love, contribute to other people, but most importantly, live life abundantly. I'll see you in the next video.